Are you in charge of planning or managing an event for your organization? If so, you're definitely going to want to check out Softer's event planning template. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're a Softer implementation partner. If you haven't used Softer before, you can get started using the affiliate link in the description below. Once you're logged into Softer, you can click on New Application. And from here, we have lots of different templates we can choose from. I'm going to search for Event, and here we have our event planning template. Let's go ahead and click on that. We can see a little preview of it and we'll click to use this template. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to choose our Airtable data source for this. So I already have this authenticated, but it just takes a couple of clicks to get it set up with Airtable. Let's press continue. And now I'm going to copy this base to my Airtable account. What's really nice is that Softer creates all the tables in the background that I need in my Airtable base in order to work inside of Softer. So here you can see we have our schedule of events. I like to think of these as the sessions or the events themselves. And we've got some great detail here, including a categorization and some different images that we want to be able to see. Then we also have our speakers. These are the people who are actually putting on those sessions that we have. We have our attendees. These are the people who are coming to those sessions. We can track some budgetary items here. And then we have event attendees. And this acts as a junction table. This is essentially the attendees that we have and which events are attending. So in this case, we have Kai, and Kai is attending this opening remarks session. So this is gonna give us the ability inside of Softer to be able to add ourselves to new schedule items as they come up. Now we can finish building our Softer application by clicking Create Application, connecting it to the base that we have in Airtable. Now we're inside of Softer Studio, and this is the area where we can configure how we want our application to look and how we want it to behave. Now, one of the first things that you'll see here is that we have different menus. And the reason we have these different navigation areas is because we have it contextualized to our attendees that are coming to the events, the admins who are interacting with it, and maybe you haven't even signed up for the event yet. You're a non-logged in user. And so we can create different personalized experiences based on what your status is inside of the application. So in this case, if I head back over to Airtable, we can see that we have different types of attendees. We have these attendees, and then we also have the event admins. Now, if you're the event admin, you're the person at the organization who's in charge of adding new sessions and managing the budget for it, you're going to have a special set of permissions that's going to let you do different things that if you're just an attendee of the event, that they won't be able to do. Now I can see what our web application looks like if I'm a non-logged in user, or I can toggle this down and we can actually impersonate the different users to be able to see how they view it. So in this case, Lucy Anderson is that event admin. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to her experience so that we can see, hey, in this case, we can see our budget. Let's take a look at this. So we've got those budget line items, but we've got some nice charts and reports. We can add new budget items so that Lucy herself doesn't even have to be a user inside of Airtable. She can just be someone who's accessing our application via Softer. On the Schedule tab, she's able to add new sessions. And this takes us to a form where now she's able to put in new information about a new session that we're gonna have at the event. Let's see how this differentiates from just an attendee of the event. So maybe we're gonna look at this as if we're logged in as John. Now, when we're logged in as John, we don't have the option for budget, or when we click on our schedule, we don't have the option to add a new session because we're simply an attendee of it. Now we can manage those different user groups inside of Software Studio by clicking on our users. We can see the different users that we have. We can also see the user groups. And so here we've got some different logic. If we open up the attendees and we can say, hey, let's add the users based on certain condition. So if that user's type, and again, this is coming over from Airtable, if that type equals attendee, then here is what they're going to be able to see. We can use this permission, this user group permission, inside of any of the pages or the components that we're looking at. Another cool feature with user groups is that we can actually click right here. If we don't wanna have some logic behind it, we just wanna manually add people to those user groups. We can now add them to admins or attendees just with a simple click of a button. Now, when it comes to applying those permissions, I'm on this budget page and I have this component here where we're showing a chart of our group spending. We don't want our attendees to be able to see that. So over here on my visibility settings, I can say we only want to show this to logged in users and only if they're a part of that admins group. Now, if I'm John, let's say that there's a session that I want to attend. So in this case, I see that there's this opening remarks and I'm gonna click and see the details of this session. And I wanna be able to register myself so that I can indicate that I'm coming. And if you're planning a session, this can be really helpful to know how many people you're expecting for a given session. So in this case, when John is looking at the event, he's gonna see this button to attend a session and he can click that button. And what this is doing in the background 
is it's creating that event attendees record, that junction table, so we can see that John is now attending opening remarks. And this is some of the great power of Softer. So if I'm on the page itself and we're in Softer Studio again, and I click on this component for attending that session, what we're really doing is we're using one of Softer's forms to be able to say, hey, create this record in the background based on the logged in user and them clicking this button, and now we can manage that attendee process. Now, I don't want you to think that because you're using a template, you're locked into your event needing to follow the same exact look and feel of this template. So here we've got the option to have different theme settings and we can change the look and feel. We can, of course, change the logos that we're using. We can host this on our own custom subdomain or domain if we want to. But we can also add our own pages and our own functionality to those pages as well. So in this case, one of the things that I want to do that I don't maybe love the behavior of by default is that right now, if I want to see my schedule, the sessions that I've signed up for, how I'd look at it is by clicking on attendees, and now I'm going to see the entire list of attendees of everyone who's attending. And then I have to find myself in here. So I'm searching for John. And then from here, I can click on John. And now I can see the events that I'm attending. So this works okay if you're managing it, if you want to see all of the attendees and what they're attending. But in my case, as I'm logged in as this user, John, I want to be able to more quickly see the events that I've already registered for. So let's fix this in Softer Studio. We're going to add a new page, and I'm going to call this My Sessions. And we'll keep this URL endpoint at My Sessions here. We'll save that. And then what I'm going to do is let's actually go to our home page to be able to adjust our navigation bar at the top. We can see this is the one for admins. So we want to update this one that's visible to attendees. So if I click here, here's where I'm going to add a new link. And we'll call this My Sessions so that it's nice and visible up at the top. We'll add a new action. We'll open a page. And we'll open that page for My Sessions that we just created. Let's go ahead and add the functionality that we need to My Sessions. Since really, it doesn't do anything right now. It's basically a blank page. Let's add this new block that we have. And I'm gonna choose a list with horizontal cards to display our different sessions that we're looking at. So I'm gonna plug in my information here with my Airtable base. And this is my event planning base that we're connecting to. And here we're gonna choose from the schedule, the different events that are showing. So if I'm logged in as John, now we can see my sessions up at the top and I can click on this to be able to see that here is a list of events. But right now, this is showing all of the events. This is not showing the ones that I am attending. So let's go ahead and tweak that by adding a conditional filter. And again, this is one of the powerful features of Softer that we're able to dynamically filter based on our logged in users status. So we're going to add a condition. And we're going to say we're event attendees. And we'll say is one of. And then here, we can choose this logged in users name. Now, there's probably some better ways to do this by using an actual record ID, but this gets the job done for right now. Now, if I refresh my page back in the application, I'm only looking at the individual events that I've actually said I'm going to attend, as opposed to looking at all of the different events that we have in our schedule. Now, it's easy for us to be able to modify the fields that we want to show as well. So I see some labels and email addresses that I don't need. So I'm just going to delete those out. And that's going to update what we're actually viewing here so that we can configure this based on what's useful for your users to see. I hope this is helpful to see how you can manage events using Softer and Airtable. Now, if you haven't started with Softer, you can get started for free using the link in the description below.